All right, this is going to be a basic tutorial on how to use the command line to render projects in Blender. And the reason why people would use the command line is because it's a little bit quicker, very slightly quicker, but it's a lot more stable. In an instance where you have a very complicated scene and it's so complex that it causes the graphical user interface or the GUI to crash you may want to use the command line to do your rendering and it actually uses a little bit less memory as well now there are ways you can set the command line so that you can actually set a frame range in the command line and so forth or you can control different settings in the command line but for the most part how I go about using the command line I basically go to the project file using the graphical user interface basically what everybody is familiar with and I go ahead and set this up the way I want it to render and in this case I'm just gonna have it render frame 101 through 200 101 and then set this to 200 and I'm going to set an output location and right now I have it in the prop, proper output location I'm just going to use a that little prefix which you don't need to uh, worry about that unless you want to or need to and at this point all I need to do is just click file save because I have everything else set up the way I want it to render alright now I need to go to this location which is the location of the project file I'm going to go ahead and close this which I already have that location saved it's right or opened up it's right here so all I have to do is just click right click on it and then choose copy as path and then I will have this text right here in the description of the of this video and basically all you do these are your command lines I have one for optics and one for CUDA just go to right here where it says path to blend file just select that and then right click and paste to copy or to paste in the link to the blend file that you're wanting to render through the command line now over here is where you put the path to the uh, blender executable file so I'm going, I'm going to come up here say I want to render it with uh, blender 3.0 so I'm going to come up here to the C drive, go to Program Files, change the view type so it actually makes more sense. Uh, go to Blender Foundation, go to 3.0, which is that's the version that I want to blend, uh, render it with, and then find Blender.exe, and then right-click and copy as path. All right, and then just paste that in here. And then right here, that's your complete command line code, assuming you're gonna do it in optics. Now this right here, this A, that indicates that you're, you want to render all the frames of that project. And I have currently have that project set 101 to 200, so it's gonna render all 200, or pardon me, all 100 frames. So all I need to do is just highlight this entire line, click copy, and then open your command line. And you can just go to search, and if you don't see a command prompt here, you can just you know type in CMD, and you'll see your CMD or command prompt come up. And when this pops up, just go to the edge and right click and that that pastes alright once you have it in here you just click enter and it's going to start rendering the uh, frames through the uh, command line and right here I can go up here to the output location that I had previously set you know, right here and you can see the frames start coming in. But again, this 
text will be in the description of this video and it's fairly simple especially the way I do it I don't try to do anything complicated through the command line but anyway if you have any questions let me know and I will try my best to help you later people